Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Naresh Technologies and today's session I am going to explain about uh, system defined exceptions and in PLSQL exceptions are two types, one system defined and another one user defined exceptions. In one of my uh, previous uh, video session I explained about uh, uh, user defined exceptions ok. Then, so, let us see uh, system defined exceptions, the exceptions which are defined by oracle, the exceptions which are defined by oracle are called system defined exceptions. So, in this one is one system defined exception is 0 divide, one is 0 divide and another one value error, invalid number no data found, too many rows, duplicate valon index and cursor already open and invalid cursor ok. So, these are all some, some predefined exceptions. So, let us see one by one, when 0 divide exception rises, when value error exception rises, when no data found exception rises let us see. The first one 0 divide then when 0 divide exception rises, so if you try to divide a number with 0 ok, a 0 divide exception rises when you try to divide a number with 0. For example, suppose A equal to ampersand A, B equal to ampersand B and C equal to A by B. So, I entered some value for A, I entered some value for B, next I am calculating A by B. So, assume the entered value for A is 10 and entered value for B is suppose 5, the value of A is 10 and the value of B is 5 and this statement successfully executed, this statement executes successfully. So, 10 by 5 and it calculates 2 and the value 2 is assigned to variable C. For example, entered value for B is 0 when the value entered for b is 0 and this statement causes c, c equal to a by b 10 by 0. So, something by 0 this statement causes exception, what exception is 0 divide ok. So, if, if you try to divide a number with 0 one exception is raised that is 0 divide. Next and the second one value error, when this exception is raised and this exception rises if the variable size, the value, the value entered for the variable, if the uh, the value size exceeds, or if there is a data type is mismatched, or if the size is mismatched, then value error exception rises. When value error exception rises, if the data type or the size is mismatched, then value error exception rises. For example, suppose one example x I declared number 4 then, so I declared a variable x is a variable and it is declared with number 4. Suppose I am assigning some value to this x, the value assigned to this x is 10,000, but so x is declared with number 4 that means this variable accepts only 4 digits number, but the value assigned to this variable is exceeding what 4 digits and in this case one exception is raised what that exception is value error. Next another one for example, x number 4 then equal to a b c, x number 4 equal to a b c. So, the variable data type is number 4, but the value given that value given for that variable is a b c. So, what is a b c is a string. So, in this case what is mismatched is data type. So, the value data type is string, but the variable data type is number. So, in this case one exception is raised, what that exception is value error ok. Then here what is exceeding here size, here what is uh, data type is mismatch. So, these two causes value error exception. Next another one invalid number. So, this exception rises when, when you, if you try to perform any invalid uh, mathematical operation, invalid uh, numeric operation 
okay. This exception rises if you try to perform any invalid numeric operation. So, invalid number exception rises. Uh, for example, suppose here see six date plus 10, six date plus 10. So, what is this sentence is to the system days, 10 days are added to the system date. Uh, for example, if the system date is like for example, today is 06 Feb 2017 plus 10. So, system date is 6 Feb 2017 plus 10. So, the 10 days are added to, added to the uh, 6 Feb then what is the date is 16th Feb. To the 6th Feb 10 days are added then what it returns is 16th Feb then. For example, so instead of giving this date I am giving like this 06 Feb 2017 plus 10 okay. So, I am giving like this and what is this is? This is in single quotes something in single quotes it is uh, treated as string okay. Something in single quotes it is uh, treated as string and string plus number is invalid. So, it is not a valid uh, operation. So, it is invalid uh, operation invalid arithmetic operation. So, this causes what exception and what is that exception is invalid number okay. So, because why this is because this is string the string plus number is invalid date plus number is valid but string plus number is invalid. So, this causes invalid number exception next and another one no data found another one no data found exception and when this exception rises this exception rises if data not found in the table okay. When this exception rises this exception rises if data not found in the table. So, any example see for example, suppose so I entered some number ampersand EMPNO I entered some employee number what I am doing is I am getting the name of the employee select E name into some variable for example, V E name from EMP where employee number equals to V E and O. So, what I am doing is so here uh, I entered some employee number and that employee number is stored in some variable V E and O. Next what I am doing is I am getting the name of the employee and the name is stored into this variable V E name and suppose assume entered employee number is 7369 is 7369 is there in the table. So, entered employee number is 7369 is 7369 is there in the table yes it is there. So, then the select statement is successfully executed. So, it will get the 7369 name and the 7369 name is assigned to variable V in name. For example, entered some employee number entered employee number is 9090. So, entered employee number is 9090 is this 9090 is there in the table no it is not there in the table there is no employee with employee number equal to 9090. Then what happens is this select statement fails because the employee record is not there in the table the select statement fails. When the select statement fails one exception rises and what is that exception is no data found. So, because this employee number is not found in the table then the select statement throws no data found exception. Next another one too many rows and when this exception rises okay this exception is rigid if the select statement try to fetch more than one record and this exception rises. So, let us see one example for example, VDNO equal to ampersand department number. So, what I entered is I entered department number next what I am fetching is fetching the names of the employees and the names are assigned to variable V name from EMP where department number equals to VDNO. So, in this what I am doing is I entered department number the department number is stored into some variable next fetching the employee names and the employee names are stored into variable V name. So, where department number equals to the enter department number assume enter department number is 20. So, I entered some department number the enter department number is 20 the value 20 is assigned to this variable V D and O. Next what is the select statement is doing fetching the names of the employees. So, working for 20 department because what is the value entered for V D and O is 20 and what is this query is fetching this query is fetching all the names of the employees working for 20 department. So, this select statement fetches 
So, employees working for the 20th department assume there are 5 employees working for the 20th department and the select statement returns 5 names and all the 5 names are assigned to this variable. But this variable accepts how many values, but this variable accepts only one value, but how many values you are trying to assign 5 values. Okay? That variable can take only one value, but you are trying to assign 5 values, then the select statement throws too many rows exception because the select statement is fetching more than one record. Okay? Then, so this is too many rows exception. Next, another one duplicate valor index. The next one is duplicate valor index. So, when this exception digest, this exception digest if you try to insert duplicate value into primary key column or unique column. If you try to insert duplicate value into primary key or unique column, this exception digest. For example, suppose I am creating a table, create table A, A number, so declared primary key. So, I created a table okay, and in this table, this table is created with one column and that column is declared with primary key. Next, I am trying to insert the values, insert into A values 10. So, value 10 is inserted into this table. Next, insert into A values, again I am inserting 10. Okay. Then, so, first I created a table and the column A is declared with primary key. Next, I am inserting value 10. So, this value 10 is inserted into this table. Next, again I am trying to insert another record with same value. So, I am trying to insert one more row, but the value of this A is what 10, but this 10 is already there in the table and this statement throws exception. What exception it throws? Duplicate value index. Why? Because you are trying to insert what? duplicate value into primary key column. Okay? Then next and another one cursor already open like if you try to open the cursor which is already open like open C1. So, cursor is already open. Next again somewhere you are again you are trying to open the cursor, but this is already open. So, without closing the cursor again you are trying to open the cursor. So, one exception edges and what is that exception is cursor already open. Okay, then. So, the cursor is already open, but without closing the cursor, again you are trying to open the cursor, then one exception digest cursor already open. Next, another one, invalid cursor. So, you try to open a cursor which is not declared. So, I am trying to open this cursor C1, but this C1 is not declared in the declaration part. So, then one exception digest, what that exception is invalid cursor. Okay, then. So, one is cursor already open, you are trying to open the cursor which is not uh, uh, closed. So, again you are trying to open the cursor, then you will get this one. Next, if you try to open a cursor which is not declared, then you will get invalid cursor error exception. So, what are these? These are all uh, the predefined exceptions 0 divide value error, invalid, no data found, too many rows, duplicate value and index like this. So, if you try to divide a number with 0, then you will get 0 divide. If the data type or size is mismatched, value error. If you perform any invalid numeric operation, invalid number. If data not found in the table, no data found. If you select statement fetches more than one record, too many rows. If you try to insert duplicate values into primary key, duplicate value and index. If you try to open the cursor which is already open, then cursor already open. If you try to open a cursor which is not declared, then invalid cursor. Okay, then. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.